We have a lot to talk about today. LD2K or Chris Manning was speaking about one of 2K's newest employees they got this year, who was a former NBA 2K League professional that played Lockdown. He's a part of the gameplay developers now. He said, I'll say this without saying much. Wolf's contributions are immediately felt on that end. Having someone like Wolf allows the quote unquote meta to be analyzed and discussed at a deeper level for the entire gameplay team. I'm excited for you all about it next week. Now, like I told you guys, man i predicted that defense will be better in 2k24 and you'll see wadge plug went to twitter and said yes yes this is why having these people around is crucial in my opinion and he put a 100 emoji it is huge to have these professional 2k players around that know the game they know everything about the cheese and the mechanics and all that so that we can get a balanced 2k as good as possible we don't need to have a bunch of people that don't play the game making the game you know what i'm saying now i'm not saying the developers don't play the game i'm just saying it's good to have people around that are actually very good so they know what they're talking about anyway uncle demi made a video and we have a few clips that has to be talked about because he dropped some more important information if you don't know who i'm talking about he is a youtuber he's the head of the next makers he has some sort of inside knowledge about 2k so let's roll these clips and i'll be right back that's not expected to be rinse and repeat from mj to Kobe, it expected to be a different type of system setup where, um, it, to me, I think it'll be more, um, you, you will be more incentivized to actually utilize it, right? And that, to me, that's, I think that would be the way I want to go ahead and put that out there. It'll give you more reason to incentivize it. So if you are my career player, park player, I think that you probably will want to go ahead and utilize that, okay? That's not the first time. Uncle Demi is doubling down on the fact that the Kobe Mamba moments will be important for park players, my career players, things like that. You'll be incentivized to play it. So what I get from that is that the rewards are going to be worth it in some sort of way that correlate to park and my career and things like that. So that would be amazing because this year with the Jordan Challenge, you know, you got your jersey, which was cool and stuff like that. But if they actually actually made it to where you get like you know the kobe grinches or something and you get plus three mid-range to your player that would be really cool and i could definitely see a lot of people playing it just for that not only obviously doing the moments but getting something rewarding is cool as well so uncle dimmy has some more clips we got to roll it but i really hope that these are true because that's a double down that's not the first time he's talked about that and let's roll this clip. Let's talk about what we have rolling out. And we know the first thing that's going to be coming out is going to be pro play coming out this week. So I will be dropping a video once that release. Obviously, I did play the game, so I cannot speak on pro play now. Beforehand, my other video, I didn't, I, you know, I wasn't able to know much about pro play. But now that I know about it, there's no way I can be really speak on it. But I can tell you, I really feel like you're going to really thoroughly enjoy this new setup and system of pro play. Okay, so Uncle Demi has played 2K24 early. We already know that if you guys watch the videos. If you're new, of course, hit that subscribe button. I got all of the sauce for you until 2K24 comes out. And even when it does come out, by the way, guys, if you are recently new, I post news during the year of updates, patches, things like that. But anyway, Uncle Demi has played the game early and he has noticed something about pro play. It is noticeable, you can tell, from playing the game so hopefully pro play is something huge but man 2k is really i mean really putting a lot into this because they're not telling nothing about it they're saying you will wait till the week of august 14th and then you will see it so what i'm seeing bro is crossplay obviously was a big investment because they have advertised that so much and i'm thinking that pro play is the second biggest investment but who knows man we will see we have another uncle demi clip to roll and actually man let's talk about this tweet from uncle demi real quick before we show this clip because i think this is going to tie into it he said yesterday as we prepare for 2k24's release let's cast our minds back to the electrifying debut of 2k23 the euphoria was noticeable with creators tweets painting a vivid picture of the excitement the replica builds i found were a sensation causing 2k to freeze for two days as every fan flocked to the builder undeniably we've been part of extraordinary times 2k20 held us together during the pandemic while 2k23 shattered records to become the most played game ever outside of 20 pandemic numbers but watch out 2k24 is not just aiming to surpass its predecessor but also the iconic 2k20 this year a new record is on the horizon remember this tweet so this was something he was talking about in his video as well he said there's going to be so many i told you so's and i'm here for that 
I replied under his tweet and I said, this is big talk, Demi. I'm talking about this is big talk. As a creator, you're going out and you're putting your reputation on the line saying this game is going to be good. There's going to be a lot of I told you so's. This game's going to be the most sold 2K ever. Now, he is obviously a 2K next maker. I'm sure he gets paid by 2K in some sort of way, but he doesn't necessarily have to go out there and say things like this. So he's really putting his word out on 2K24. Now, as you all know, 2K23 is basically the most sold 2K ever. It's the second most sold 2K ever at 13 million copies, but the only one in front of it was 2K20. So that's what he's saying, and that was 14 million sales. So it's kind of Mickey Mouse, you know what I'm saying? There's an asterisk by it. So 2K23 is basically the most sold 2K ever. Now, let's roll this clip where he was talking about 2K24. If you fix a 2K23 complaints, you roll in some new enhancements and new features in 2K24. In my opinion, you got the best game ever coming out. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. What I'm getting from this is that Uncle Demi from playing the game early already knows there is some big gameplay exploits and things that were patched for 2K24. Now, as you guys know, we've talked about this before. I do not hate 2K. Now, I might be saying something crazy right now. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. But I was talking to my friends and I said, I think 2K23, as you see this gameplay right now, me and my friends were playing a party series literally yesterday. I don't play the game that much, okay? But I did get back on because I'm trying to get ready for 2K24. I was telling them, I think 2K23 is the best 2K since 2K20. And I'm not sure if that's a hot take, but they were all agreeing with me now that's not saying a lot necessarily you know compared to 2k 16 17 things like that the people that love those games but i actually kind of do agree with uncle demi now instead of just saying something like that without backing up any statement i wrote down a few things that i think could be changed that could make 2k 24 possibly the best 2k of all time because i think 2k 23 is a good foundation i actually don't disagree with what he's saying about that i wrote down fixes walk back patch okay walk back is a very odd oh, look at that steel oh my gosh bro anyway walk back patched more consistent slash rewarding paint defense so i don't think paint defense is necessarily terrible it's just not consistent it has to reward people that have high ratings because sometimes you can really get them snatch blocks and you know the defense is great but then it's the exact same scenario they dunk on you you know what i'm saying so it's weird it just has to be more consistent in my opinion and i've been saying that literally all year a tiny bit better lateral movement for defenders or feet planting slash both so you guys know i've said i don't think we need to dumb down offense anymore just give defenders the same feet planting that offense has on offense you can stop go left stop go right now you can do that on defense but it's not as good as the offense and that's why the left right stuff is the meta okay that's why it's like that Give a few more badges maybe to defenders and increase the foot planting. And I think we're in a good spot. Now, the ball not going through you as a defender, of course, that's very annoying. The ball should never go through you. If you record a clip and the guy literally went straight through your body like he's a freaking ghost, you know, Danny Phantom, then you, that obviously shouldn't be in the game. You know what I'm saying? Great rewards slash good legend rewards. So obviously we need to have better rewards, gameplay rewards that incentivize you to play the game. But also like Uncle Demi was talking about in his video, he was talking about the hits that 2K23 took. And one of the big hits was when people seen the legend reward, we just didn't really care about it because we've already got the double cores. And the only people that really benefit from being able to have more than two cores for a category is like pure lockdowns pure slashers and that's not a lot of people and by the way those people can't even hit legend this year if you're a pure lockdown there's no way you're scoring 100,000 points bro you have to play way way more anyway the 5,000 different shot timings gone and multiple different scenarios sorry sceneries for rec and pro-am so just like we have different sceneries for park like nba live does they've got 30 different places where you can play at every time you load up it's a different scenery that would be really cool for rec or if they don't want to do something like that, we can just change the scenery in Rec and Pro-Am every season. You know, one new different spot every season. So in the first season, you're playing in New York. The next season, you're playing in Paris. Next season, you're playing in Miami. Things like that. It would be a very cool addition. So you guys see, those few changes, that's what, six, seven things? I think, I'm not even kidding, could create the best 2K of all time. Because I think 2K23 is a good foundation. But to go from that to a perfect, you know, best 2K most selling ever is obviously much easier said than done okay so 
we'll see what 2k is going to do for 2k24 but man i think we got something really important to talk about now of course take this with a grain of salt i'm not saying this is 100 i hate that i even have to say that when i'm saying things like this but you know how people are man anyway lele went to twitter who is a next maker for 2k and not just a next maker uncle demi talked about in his video just today that she's like one of the head of the next makers or something like that with uncle demi so let's roll this clip where she was talking Talking about seasons and things like that you guys will see what I'm talking about I'll be right back and then seasons are back which is confirmed by the the graphic that 2k dropped so level 40 seasons are back but what I will say like I said in the past video just because one thing's back doesn't mean something else isn't I'm not gonna lie when I heard that I jumped out of my chair like a little kid so look the way she said that bro now once again of course like I just said I'm not saying this is 100% but the way she said that okay go back and listen to it look at her face when she said bro if it's back please please be a second grind I told you guys seasons plus legend grind is the perfect thing because people that are casual players they don't get to play a lot are able to still get some cool things i mean a little bit of cool things but then people that only play 2k people that have more time kids things like that are going to be able to be incentivized to play the game all year to get a very cool reward at legend you know things like that so hopefully bro the legend system is back but from that video bro i almost want to say it's 100 percent back from right there but of course i'm not going to say that man bro there's no way she's just going out saying that for no reason right like there's just no way so i don't know man anyway guys you got to click this video right here it's your boy badge plug you have been plugged in it's some 2k24 news that you got to see if you haven't seen it it's very important okay click the video what are you doing what are you bro listen click the video i'm done i'm out of here you gotta click it peace